All right, well, just moved into a new house. Of course, we had to buy all new appliances because the people we bought the house from took all their appliances, which was a lot of fun because we had to buy all of these appliances during the coronavirus, which was a huge hassle because so many of them were on back order and we had to wait like 16 weeks for some of them. But for our washer and our dryer, we got these Maytag units. And today I wanna to show you the, uh, the Maytag top loading washer that we got. Now, uh, this is my third house and the third set of washer and dryers that I've bought. And the thing that I found with uh, the first two is that uh, they get smelly, they get moldy, like all of these bells and whistles, the fancy doors on the top, those all need maintenance. And me personally, I don't like taking a huge amount of time to maintain every small little detail in my house. It takes a huge amount of time and uh, realistically, I don't think that any of us do it. So when my wife and I went to the store to find a washer, I wanted something simple, uh, easy to clean, easy to maintain, and also huge. So we could wash king size comforters because it's also a pain having to take a king size comforter all the way to the dry cleaner and have it cleaned all the time. It, it, and, and it's really expensive too. So we got this, uh, this Maytag top loading washer because it holds a huge amount. This washer has 5.2 cubic feet. It's significantly bigger than the previous washers that I had and plenty large enough to fit a king size comforter in there, even if it's one of those big and fluffy ones. This one, it doesn't have any of those little compartments where you pour the softener, where you pour the detergent. Uh, Cause like I said, those things, they always get stained yellow. Um, they get a film residue, they get nasty. So this one, you just pour your detergent right over your clothes. The fabric softener goes into the center of the agitator, right in the middle. And if you are going to use some sort of liquid chlorine bleach, uh, you put it in the, the side tray here so that it can get dispersed in the water evenly so that it doesn't you know, ruin any of your clothes. And, you know, up top, they have uh, reduced the bells and whistles as much as possible. It's just got the main stuff that you need. You know, soil level, low, medium, high, or light, regular, heavy. Your wash temp, over here you have how many rinses you want. One rinse, two rinse, with or without fabric softener. And then a deep water wash, which will fill the entire unit with water or auto sensing, which will only fill the unit with as much water as you, it needs to clean the clothes that are in it, which is really nice because then you can save on that water bill. But uh, if you look at the middle here, there's a lot of different settings. Uh, and of course, a lot of them are pretty self-explanatory. I'm not gonna get into a bunch of them. But uh, you've got your clean washer with Afresh, which is really nice because again, it's really annoying uh, to use a washer for two, three years and, and have it smell. So regular maintenance on this thing, I'd say every 30 days you clean your washer. You can buy those little boxes of Afresh at like Home Depot or even Walmart. Um, you put a pack of Afresh in here in the top and then set it to clean washer and hit your start button. This unit is gonna fill up all the way with hot water and uh, rinse off a lot of that film and mold and residue on the inside of this and uh, then flush it out. After it's finished, you wanna leave the door open to let it dry completely. And even when you use this machine on a daily basis, you're gonna to wanna to leave the door open to ensure that some of the rubbers in the unit and uh, some of the places that are a little hard to reach to clean, keep it smelling nice. Now, uh, when you do use the washer, you wanna use a high efficiency detergent because since this is such a large washer, if you don't use a high efficiency detergent, you know, your cheaper detergents could bubble up a lot. They could set up a lot, which gets all over all of the components inside, which again, can lead your washer to smell. Always use a high efficiency and use the right amount. Don't use too much, because the goal is to make these things last. They're not cheap. You don't want to buy them twice. So if you look at uh, these little lights down here, just tells you, what part of the wash cycle you're on. It'll give you a little chime on each one and tell you when it's finished. Press the start button once to go, press it once to pause, and hold it three seconds to cancel. I think that's about it. Make sure your hoses are tight, your gaskets are good, and uh, I think that it's a washer that's gonna last us 30 years. 
I'm not looking, I'm not going to buy another one. <laughs>